Well, there's a change of scenery on DK in grey today, and there's also a change of scenery at the top of the ladder. The Tigers head in on top, and they're two points clear of St. Mary's. Gray Morris from NT News. It was an interesting round of footy once again. Well, it was. The Tigers have gone back to the top, as you say. St. Mary's have been beaten again, and of course, Wanderers have come back from the players to beat the Buffaloes. They have, and Adam Cook kicked a magnificent goal on the weekend. He got our DK and Gray play of the day. Let's check it out right now. It is very different without the buffalo screaming in our ears. Cook does very well. He got around the man on the mark and then he kicked from 50. Oh, what a start. Adam Cook. That is a sensational goal. Big booming goal there from Adam Cook and that was in the third quarter. In the last quarter, the Wanderers came home with a wet sail, Gray, and they put their name back on the winners list. Uh, Andrew Hodges, their coach, must be pretty happy at the moment. Well, they were uh, what? They were looking at their fourth successive loss, Wanderers, and uh, it looked bad when they got 14 points down. The Buffaloes got the stampede going, but uh, yes, to Wanderers' great credit, they bounced back and uh, won by what? Half a goal in the end of that one. Yeah, just uh, the three points there, Gray, and uh, obviously another crucial game they take on Tiwi. Both of these sides are locked on 16 points and still outside the five. So it's a really big game that could, uh, I guess, change the face of the five. Well, yeah, it should be a beauty. The Tiwi Bombers not playing at their best and Wanderers, of course, not at their best either. So it's a real test for this. Uh, we're, we're, you know, we're almost at Christmas time and only, as you say, four wins each. It's really time to start winning and start winning consistently. So the Tiwi Bombers taking on Wanderers at 8pm here on Super Saturday at TIO Stadium. Another big game that uh, will be taking place on Sunday. Southern Districts taking on Waratah. Well, Districts, they uh, were big winners on the weekend. They knocked over St Mary's. They just keep winning, don't they? Uh, you know, all the experts seem to think that they're not quite up to the standard of Nightcliff and St Mary's, and yet... Uh, they just keep winning, as we found out with St Mary's. They plugged away. They they kicked better in you know for goal than St Mary's did. Won by ten points. Their first win over St Mary's in quite a while, but uh, certainly as far as uh, playing the finals goes, a magnificent win for the Crocodiles. Gray uh, Willie Farrer and also Troy Taylor were reasonably good up forward. Yep. And uh, Aaron Wosley Black made a good return to NTFL football with Southern Districts. A little bit of a surprise, wasn't it? Uh, there, there were rumours midweek that he, he may be going down Fred's Passway, and lo and behold, on Friday it was confirmed, and he was into the side, much to Waratahs' woes, but uh, certainly the district boys is very, very happy about it. I wonder if they're going to bash him up on the weekend, Gray. They play Waratahs, and uh, geez, it'll be a, a there'll be a bit of passion, I reckon. Well, there'll be passion all around when a district won't keep winning. Uh, and of course, Waratahs, gee, they're staring at their tenth loss in a row. Uh, you would not believe that after round one. Well, it's tough times for Waratahs, but uh, they take on Southern Districts at Norville Roval on Sunday at 4 o'clock. Another big game, Gray, that's taking place is the AFL NTV match of the round. St Mary's and Nightcliff. The last time these two teams met, St Mary's uh, magnificent run of wins came to a grinding halt, Gray, and uh, Nightcliff really celebrated that one, and uh, it'll be interesting uh, to see how St Mary's bounce back from that. Well, St Mary's, as you say, often bounce back very strongly from a loss, uh, and they will get their captain back this week, Peter Noodles McFarlane, back after a long break with uh, with a, a leg a leg break, of course, and his work commitments. But uh, yeah, they've got to find something now, St Mary's. So uh, they were the pace setters for a year and a half, and it was you know only a matter of them being out on the ground and winning. But they've got to find a formula now, St Mary's, and they're up against a nightclub side that's roaring along. They they have lost. Uh, Two games this season, of course, but very, very good around the ball, up forward and down back. So it can be very, very hard to beat the Tigers. And a lot of people already talking about this being a grand final preview. Well, I feel like there's going to be a lot of passion in this game. And one man that's very passionate about his footy is Justin Ferret Wilson. I spoke to him during the week about the upcoming match. Justin Wilson, you're a very passionate player. Is any extra passion going into this match? Well, for me it is. Uh... Obviously up against Damien Hale, the old coach, um, and Nightcliff. I've always had a bit of uh, bit of passion against Nightcliff over the last couple of years, and, and my first premiership was against Nightcliff. So it was a little bit, um, but uh, they stitch us up in about round four or five. So yeah, there is there is a little bit there, but um, obviously we want to win. Uh, we've dropped a couple, so yeah, we be looking forward to. It trying to get it back. So you said they, they stitch you guys up. How do you think the, tr the side's been travelling uh, recently? Um, it's been different. Uh, there's a few new faces. A few of our uh, 
older faces have been out. Um, but in saying that, it's a good thing for the club. Obviously, we're going to have to blood a few um, in the next couple of years. We're all getting a bit older. Um, there's five or six of us that are, that are around the 30 mark and a bit over. So it's been a good thing. Um, we'll get a few back and, and we'll have a red-hot crack at it on, uh, on Saturday. Well, the old ferret, Justin Wilson, with some interesting wording, and if we use his word in grey, Nightcliff stitched up Palmerston on the weekend, and uh, now suddenly Palmerston have got a, another really important game to stay with the top five. They take on Buffaloes, who were also close losers in the end, and th these games just keep continue to be, uh, I guess, very interesting for the complexion of the top five. David, it seems every week uh, the games are getting more and more important, and certainly, as you said, both your sides coming off losses. Buffaloes are probably a bit upset that they lost to Wanderers. Palmerson, uh, never really going to win that game. You always thought Nike have had, they had that extra gear to move into uh, when, when required, and of course they did that late in the last quarter. But uh, yeah, a huge game for both sides. I mean, a loss here, and all of a sudden they're behind the eight ball again. And how, how do you see that one playing out? Buffaloes. Uh possibly without uh, their coach this weekend after both of these sides had some uh, some tribunal results that didn't go their way on the last weekend. Uh, how do you see Buffaloes responding from, from their first loss in over a month? Well, you're right, though. They really have to come back strong. Anderson, of course, will be out. Uh, I, he'll miss anyway, regardless of whether he's uh, found guilty of the tribunal or not, because his case won't be heard until next week. So he'll be a loss down back. Uh, yeah, you're right. They, they've really got to find an extra gear, the Buffaloes. They've going along very nicely, at four, uh, as you say, four wins in a row. And then they dropped that one to Wanderers last week. Uh, there'll be some uh, some questions being asked of the younger players too, your Eldridges and, and your Williams and, and mm. your young Stokes. And these are the guys who've got to put their hands up as well. Well, that game will kick things off on AFL NTV. A huge triple header on AFL NTV. Make sure that uh, you get the link from facebook.com slash AFLNT or youtube.com slash AFL Northern Territory. A triple header, Buffs and Palmy, St. Mary's and Nightcliff and Tiwi and Wanderers all live on AFLNTV. But let's take a quick look at the ladder grey. We can see here that uh, Nightcliff are on top, as uh, we mentioned earlier. And uh, we can see that Buffaloes, Wanderers and the Tiwi Bombers all sit on 16 points, but Buffalo's in the five with the superior percentage. Yes, that's right. Uh, their, their point for and against works in their favour, and uh, it, it Wanderers, of course, with the win, their first win in a month last week as well. So it's getting very, very, very tight for that fourth and fifth spots. Crucial games before Christmas, another big weekend of footy, round 11 action to kick off on AFL NTV from 310. Make sure you tune in or make sure you come down to this magnificent ground for TIO Road Safety Round and always wear your seatbelt to the game. But from us here at TIO today, Dave Kennedy and Gray Morris on DK and Gray, enjoy the footy this week.